Hello guys, welcome. This is Tipika from mytutorialrack.com. Now, in the previous tutorial, I forgot to mention one important thing related to this preview button. So you see this preview button here and so far we have been using the rich content preview and you have seen how it looks like. Now, if we go over to text preview, let's see how it looks like. So first thing is you need to start the conversation with the hi or whatever you want to say. And then you give these options. I'm Alexa. The same messages are there, but now you have to see, are you going to go with the first option or you want to go with the second option? So you will enter number one here if you want to go with the first option. Then it is going to start, enter your first name. Let's say we say Deepika here. Everything is the same. It's just the rich version. The rich text is not there. What is your last name? Let's say Kana. What's your company name? My tutorial rack. Then it is asking, tell me about the issue product not received. Let's say this is the issue. Enter your phone number. Let's say we enter a phone number here and then enter your email kana at gmail.com. I've been so used to saying it's actually pronounced as Kana, not Kana, but I've been just in habitual of saying that uh, because people here don't understand Kana, so they have, have to mispronounce it. So here you have your cases successfully created. Here is your case number and everything. So now you have option of end chat, main menu, or transfer to the agent. So we'll do one. So this is how your text preview looks like. So this is all about the Einstein bot. We saw how to set up Einstein bot. We saw how to invoke a flow using it. We saw how to invoke an Epix class, how to transfer the call to the agent, how it will look like in the real world when you enable a chat. So this is about the text preview. I hope you guys are enjoying these tutorials. I'm going to see you in the next tutorial. Thank you very much.